that's not it. That's not it. That doesn't go with the outfit. That doesn't go with the outfit. The Macho Man's outfits, they were straight from some pimp's imagination. Hey, <laughs> you know. Probably where he got you know, a lot of his flavor from. He was a spectacle. His glasses, the hats, fringe. As far as I remember, like, Macho Man had these sunglasses, and they were like an extension of his gear. And whatever colors he was wearing, they were, they were like splattered all over. For sure, he could not see that great out of there. Fortunately, the ring was like a nice big target for him just to be lying down. But they looked good, and that was the important part. His outfits, his costumes were something that he put a lot of thought into, just like, you know, Liberace. You gotta make people look at you differently than they look at everybody else. He definitely was the guy who played that role all the way to the end. That might make you a little bit upset. That might make you a little bit over the edge. That might make you a little bit insane, if you know what I mean. Pageantry is one of the things that WWE does really well. If it appears to you as a viewer that they're going a little overboard, it's just a sign that we need to go a little more overboard. I'm here for only one reason, and that's to take it to the limit, yeah! Randy always brought a new robe to the ring, and that is a guy that is interested in impressing the fans. Randy was so famous in the WWE that when he went to WCW, he worked on reinventing himself and having different costumes and, and was really giving it 110%, trying to captivate the audience and really had the goal of being the best part of the show. The Macho Man was such an amazing superstar because he, he just embodied that character to the point where he became the character and the character he became was one of the greatest of all time. Macho Man had hundreds of different cowboy hats throughout his career. That's not it. That's not it. I don't think it's in here. You know, decorated different colors and sparkles and fabrics and patterns. And so when you think of Macho Man, you kind of envision the cowboy hat along with the tassels. When I think of Mach, I think of the tassels that came down. He would be head to toe, decked out in every chapter of his journey. I am Randy Savage, the Macho King. I'm on a quest, a quest to prove that I am worthy of being the greatest king in world wrestling ever. Randy had so much charisma in the way that he moved, the way that he talked, the way that he dressed, that it really drew in a mainstream audience. Come on, uh, let's get it right. That doesn't get it, that doesn't get it. It's not the one. Uh, Todster's in trouble. The memories we made for everyone. I remember this like yesterday. How many asses I kicked with these boots. Roddy Piper's leather jacket. We need this.